Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So after a long time and a lot of people have been waiting for this video, I'm finally doing another thrift haul and it's gonna be amazing. Um, the first thing I actually got is this backdrop behind me. So tell me if you guys like this or not. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got I went to two different Goodwills on two different days, and this is my huge loot from um, those two days. So I'm really excited to share, and I have a lot to share, so let's just go ahead and get started. One of my main goals for these two Goodwill trips were to find like cute furniture items or storage items to put my shit in, but of course I did not find either of those, and I just found a bunch of more shit to clutter up my new apartment, but. So I'm just gonna hit this really quick. I know a lot of people don't like if I smoke weed in a video, so I'm not gonna show a lot of it, but just let letting you all know that I am high, okay? Okay, I kinda don't know where to start. I don't know if I should start with clothes or if I should start with home items. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with clothes. Okay, so I did get two pairs of shoes and neither of them technically from either of the Goodwill trips that I went on, but I thought that I would share them anyways because I got a great deal on both pairs. So these are a pair of JC Plays, which is Jeffrey Campbell's like sneaker line, and they're these really cool platform like sneakers. They kind of look like the Buffalo London sneakers, except like more affordable, except not really because brand new, these are like $123 at Nordstrom's right now. And I got them for $25, which I thought was a pretty good deal because I've been wanting a pair of these and I almost bought a pair of the ones from Buffalo London, but I was like, these are really expensive and I have rent to pay soon. Is this a good idea? And I decided no. But these $25 boots, yes, great idea. Okay, so next I got from a consignment store. Um, I didn't find any shoes at Goodwill either days or either ones that I went to. Like, I don't know what it is. Sometimes you find good shoes and sometimes you just don't. So I got these Ellie Kishimoto branded um, Vans, like a collab. And these are really cool. They totally remind me of like 90s Taco Bell kind of and they're like brand new. I did wear them one time, so that's what the wear is about. But these are so fun, and I got these, um, I think, for like $10.86, which I saw some vans at Goodwill that were priced at like $12.99, and they were like beat as fuck, and I'm just like, sometimes, like, you just, I just don't get their pricing there. Okay, so let's get started with the clothes and actually thrifted stuff, not stuff that I got from other stores. Okay, so first up is this like rainbow thermal tea and I don't have anything like this and this is like something kind of outside of my comfort zone for sure because I certainly don't like wearing a lot of colors especially all these colors on one shirt and it kind of has like a little thingy down here I thought this would just be really cute to layer like over like a lingerie top and some like pants or underneath a slip dress um I just really need some more shirts to layer with and I've been kind of like intrigued with playing with color a little bit but like still staying true to my goth self. I don't know if that makes sense but that's just my thought process. Alrighty, next up we have some vintage 90s Rampage cheetah print pants. These have like a little bit of a like straight leg kick flare just like ever so slightly on the bottom. And this is what the tag looks like. So cute and I'm obsessed with these because they do zip down the front and it's just really so iconic. Like I just don't know how else to describe it. These were $7.99 but so 
worth it like wow amazing okay so next up we have this little like Victoria's Secret slip and I really love the colors in it it's like a peachy like ombre -y, like tie-dye color but not like the cheesy tie-dye like it's just so pretty and so elegant and I thought this would be really cute just layered over a band t-shirt and it was dollar day on one of the days that I went so this was one dollar and I'm glad it was one dollar because normally it was $7.99 like buy I would not have paid eight dollars for this and I found this really beautiful like vintage robe I also have another one almost exactly like this. I just I just love having multiples of the same thing, honestly. But it's slightly different. So this has kind of like a mock neck and you can tie it. And then the sleeves are so precious with the lace and the same like pleated fabric. And it's super, super long. It goes like all the way down to your feetsies. Um, there's no tag. Oh my gosh, I also forgot to show that there's like little precious buttons in here. Okay, so next up we have just this like plain black little like spaghetti strap top, but it has like a red question mark and this is so cute. The tag is all like washedied and you know, not there anymore, but I definitely think this might be a vintage piece, vintage guess maybe. I had to have it. I thought this would be perfect for layering. And I've been really feeling black and red lately. Like, I'm still on the black and red kick, even though, like, everyone else has moved past it. I just, I can't move past it. I'm stuck. Shout out to the girl that tried this on and then put it back because I got this vintage Lilies of Beverly Hills two piece. Like this is the skirt and then it also came with this little jacket. So freaking precious for $10. Like a little expensive, but I think it was worth it. They say that this is a size 10, but you know how vintage sizing be. Like in what world is this a size 10? This is like not a size 10 same with this skirt like look at how small this is like this is a size small but this was in the dressing room like go back rack and i just saw this girl that had like all this cute vintage stuff put it back and i was like okay i have to check to see what she put back and she put back that set and i was like yes thank you queen seriously look at the label on this i am like how cute is that this is a super cute 90s vintage dress and it is like a plaid pattern, like a multicolored colorful plaid. I'm really like shook right now because I did buy like a lot of colors at the thrift store and that's not something I normally do at all. As you guys know from previous thrift hauls, I mainly only thrift black stuff. But this is so cute, it really just is really trendy right now and I'm obsessed with these like dresses over t-shirts in case you couldn't tell like everything I own is a dress over a t-shirt and it has cute pockets and little buttons down the front and it's just really cute the next thing that I found was actually for my sister because she's been looking for a blue jacket forever we saw this really freaking cute one at Nordstrom's and she should have got it like we both regret I was gonna go back and try to get it the next day and get it to her give it to her for Christmas But I wasn't able to get down to the mall and I like so regret it because like this coat was amazing But anyways, I found this really cute little like sweatshirt and It's like the same like fuzzy blue material except it's not an amazing trench coat um, And it was $2.99. So I got this for my sister. It has like a little hood and it's brand new with the tags, so how could you really go wrong? Blue is my sister's power color, so whenever I see anything in this like powdery, like baby blue, I always have to get it for her. I got this little like baby doll, like little top, like I don't even know what this is, like a jacket, but it's ties. 
um, for my like little photo shoot I was thinking of because this is just like really precious and really dainty and that's kind of like the thing that I'm going for and it has like the cutest little like quilted sleeves and it's by this brand called FM Lingerie and this was just a really cute little vintage jackety thing and it was only $2.99 so I picked it up because why not? Okay, so I about died when I found this skirt, and it's not gonna lie, a little bit small, and I think I spilled something on it, because there's a stain on it. I'm just now realizing, but it's okay. Everything's fine. And it's this vintage little, like, checkered printed Tahari petite skirt, and it's high rise, it's so precious, it has like all of these little sequins down here and now that I'm noticing I definitely did spill something on this I don't know what but I'm gonna cry if this does not come out it looks like it's coffee so I should be okay but when have you ever seen green checker print I've never seen that before so I had to pick this up it was $5.99 a little pricey but this is just such a cool piece. I definitely had a lot of 90s inspo going into this thrift trip because everything that I bought is like so dainty and cute and vintage. Like this little like long sleeve top and it's lacy and it ties in the front and has cute little lacy sleeves. I thought this would be so cute over that green checker print checkerboard print skirt just for like I don't know pink and green always is just so iconic to me it reminds me of my childhood room which was those exact two like shades and colors and everything so I think that's why I'm always really drawn to colors like that you guys are gonna die when you see this I found this like twisted shirt from I don't even know when 2005 and I'm obsessed with it. It was 99 freaking cents and has the little like hatchet man on the back and on the front too. Ugh, I just like, I just really needed this shirt. Like don't even like ask me why I just had to have it. Okay, so I saved the last piece of clothing because it's the best. I did not mean to say it word that like that. I saved the best piece of clothing for last and it is this vintage count count countress countress <laughs> little like jacket and this just literally screams fucking 90s at you like with the faux fur on the collar and then the faux fur on the sleeves and it's like pretty long too it like goes down like past my thighs and I've been wearing this jacket everywhere and I always get compliments on it and I just love it so much it was kind of pricey it was like ten dollars but it was so worth it like this is such an iconic piece like whenever I put it on I feel like Cher from Clueless like it's such a mood I got three purses at the thrift store no four purses dang yes queen so i got this um little fanny pack i don't know i've been really wanting a fanny pack i keep seeing people wear them like this way and i i'm like really feeling it i don't know why i saw this it was a dollar and 50 cents so i thought i would try out the trend before buying this gucci fanny pack that i really want so next up we have this clear smiley face purse and I have to carry a clear bag for work, so I'm always looking for clear bags because they honestly, like, don't last that long. And I always find myself destroying them by with how much stuff I carry. So whenever I see a cute clear bag, I have to get it. And this was only 99 cents. So, and plus, it also fit most of the clothes that I got in it, so I didn't have to use a plastic bag. So this little bag I got in the little girl section. I always check the little girl section for cute little accessories and purses. And I also like to see if there's any vintage Polly Pockets or just vintage toys in general. So 
always check your, the children's section at Goodwill. And this was only 99 cents. I thought this would be really cute to take to like a show if I'm like wearing all black or like black and red. I can grab this like little fuzzy purse and just fit my phone and my wallet and a lipstick in there. You guys are gonna fucking laugh at me, but I found this super, super fake Louis Vuitton backpack at Goodwill and me and my friend both found fake bags. Like this is like so fake like the so fake look at this fucking label like look at that it is so funny but it was only like ten dollars and my friend also got a fake go yard there so the fakes were in today but i just thought it would be funny i don't think i'll ever actually wear this back because it's fake i just wanted it so i bought it okay so time to move on to the home stuff i don't know what i'm doing with my arms i'm just really excited so first up i got this bag of flowers and i actually opened it up in the store because i've been looking at like buying some of these like vined flowers like this to hang on my walls for a really long time and I saw the idea on Urban Outfitters and each strand was $12 and then I was like, oh, I can probably get these cheaper at the craft store. Then it was like $18 per little vine thing. So I was like, yikes, no. And then I found a whole bunch of them at Goodwill for $4 and it'll probably cover my whole wall or the section that I want to cover so it works out perfectly. I was also thinking of using them as a YouTube backdrop, which is also an idea, but now I have the flowers, I just have to actually do it. So whenever I go um, thrifting, I always try to at least get one book that sounds like pretty interesting to read because I don't like going to the library because I never return the books and then I'm blacklisted from that library and it's just a whole thing so i'd much rather just buy like a two dollar book so i got this um book called till death do us part and it's should i read the description yeah i guess i should it's a true crime book rooted in greed seething with the fury of unleashed passions this bizarre story of poolside living pickups in singles bars and sudden violence begins with the Palico Stockton double murders. It ends with a sulky-faced playboy and his sultry blonde paramour are finally brought to, to trial in LA. The prosecutor is Vincent Bugl Bugliosi, Bugliosi co-author of Helter Skelter, the man who put Manson behind the bars. There's no smoking pistol, no physical evidence, no living eyewitnesses to prove the defendant's guilt beyond the shadow of a doubt. It is up to Bug, Buglia, Bugliosi, <laughs> it's so hard to say, to get proof that will convict the two murderers. So that's what this book is about. I definitely do choose my books by their covers, so there's that. And then the other book I got is called The Killing Game and it is also a crime book and let's see what is this one about the killer knows Eve Duncan all too well he knows the pain she feels for her murdered daughter Bonnie whose body has never been found I have not I did not read the synopsis of this before buying it because The Killing Game was enough for me um, he knows that as one of the nation's top forensic sculptors, she'll insist on identifying the nine skeletons unearthed on a bluff near George's Talladega Falls. He knows she won't be able to resist the temptation of believing that one of those skeletons might be her daughter's, but that is the only beginning of the killer's sadistic game. He wants Eve one-on-one -on -one, and he'll use his ace in the hole to make sure she complies and he won't stop playing until he claims the price he wants most eve's life so there's also that book both of them actually sound really good and i still need to finish like one more book but would it be cool to like do like a podcast and read a chapter of these books to you guys 
because I do love reading out loud. And when I read out loud, I feel like I capture like a better picture of what like the story is saying. I don't know. I've been really wanting to like do ASMR or kind of like podcasts. So if that's something you'd be interested, definitely let me know. I got a cute Playboy mug and this is actually vintage from 2003. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we found two of them and one was like black with the white Playboy and this one is white with the black Playboy. <clears throat> and I, this is just so cute. You could always use more mugs and that's why I got it. I think it was like 99 cents. So next I got this cute little like pig pot and I kind of want to put like a like veiny like spiny plant in here or I don't even know. I'm gonna plant something cute in here, just don't know what. It was $1.99. I'm always looking for new pots because I always buy a lot of plants and then don't have enough pots to like repot them in and then they just so die. Next, I have this cute little like devil man like mug, but I'm gonna use this as a planter and plant like a little baby cactus in here or a um, an air plant. And I just noticed that this is like a Marvel character and I have absolutely no clue which one. I just got it because it's a devil guy. Already, last but not least, this has to be one of my best thrift finds ever, literally ever. I found The Legend of Zelda, like 3DS game, and it is in there. I checked and made sure that it was like all good and this was $7.99 and I literally only have one 3DS game and it's Animal Crossing and I love Animal Crossing but you can only play so much of it before you want to like go to a different game and then come back to that one so I'm glad that I got another game and I'm glad I didn't have to pay like 30 plus dollars for a video game so that concludes my thrift haul of the day. I think overall, I probably spent like 40 or $50 for all of this stuff with my coupon, of course. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to tell me what your favorite uh, piece of my whole haul was in the comments below.